Yes, in today's video, we're going to be opening up our hands. What? Just like in Grey's Anatomy, but not really because it's makeup? What? Oh my, what? Yes. So in today's look, what you are going to need is modeling wax. And you can use face paint, but I am going to be using the Maron Bruise Wheel as per always in every video, like honest to God. And you're also going to be needing some coagulated blood like that. I'm also gonna be using some homemade corn syrup blood and I will link that recipe right down in the description link. Leave. You're also going to need some setting spray and what I'm using for my bones, Q-tips. But to get them like this, what you're gonna to need to do is take a Q-tip and just cut it on an angle. So this Q-tip just whoop, and it'll come out nice and diagonal. So you're going to want to start by taking your wax and rolling it in a snake kind of formation. And once it's like that, you're going to want to place it on your hand in a circular form to just show where the skin has been ripped open like so. So what we're going to want to do is flatten that and shape it. Okay, so now we've formed our wax on our hand and what I'm going to do now is um, start by taking the bruise wheel and just going over this spot right here and I'm going to be using the red color on our bruise wheel. So this color right here, oh yes, <laughs> this color right here, I'm going to be going over this spot right here on the palm of our hand and filling that in to make it look like ripped flesh. And I know I've got too many closer Is this gonna be too much for us to bear? Okay, so now that we have fully painted the top of our hand, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab some liquid latex and place our fake bones, aka our little tiny q-tips, and just place that on the top of our hand. Okay, so now that our little skeleton hand is fully <laughs> and completely on, don't worry so much about how glossy it looks because we want the flesh to look glossy. Like, we're all about that realism. So anytime there's like a real cut, it's never like dry and perfectly powdered. It is so wet and it's gnarly. So <laughs> that being said, let's get to decorating this hand and making it look spooky -er than it already does. I'm just going to get to decorating y'all. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine.
For today's look guys should we do a creepy slow montage video i think we should <laughs> that's all for today's video guys if you enjoyed today's video make sure to squeeze that like button and turn on that bell notification so that you're notified whenever we do spooky things like this and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on our makeup journey so we can do scary things like this together because it's fun and that's all for today guys i hope you have an excellent day and cut <laughs>